What's up folks? Uh, we have been working very hard with Heka today and actually actually we decided in the beginning that we don't film anything that we do because we have so many things to do and so less time and and I told Heka that I can do this update video after after he left so here we are. Uh, I will show you what we have uh, done today. The clutch is now okay. We already installed the pressure plate and the clutch and the cylinder and uh, we also bleeded the system so there is no air anymore so it's working very nicely. Uh, but there is a uh, few tricks I want to show you because this is not uh, this is not the normal setup. If you um, watch carefully this flywheel you see some uh, bits missing <laughs> and this our flywheel is heavily modified. Uh, if you see this gap between these bolts and then I show you the original one so there's no gap so this is um, this is original and uh, if you measure the um, thickness of this flywheel it's like from the, here to the surface about 14 millimeters and if you measure this one uh, it's like 12 millimeters so this is uh, two millimeter thinner this flywheel so that's why we have these spacers between uh, the pressure blade and the flywheel so the gap between uh, the pressure plate and the uh, cylinder is uh, as it should be the original original amount <clears throat> so this is uh, this is the tricks that we use that we got this uh, clutch working properly. We also changed the, the cylinder. This one used to be on, on the Saab, but we changed it because uh, the uh, spare part cylinder had a little longer this part and also the piston was a little longer. So I think uh, the, the, we are with changing the cylinder we can avoid the piston popping out from the cylinder so I, I think that's uh, just a way to make sure it works properly. And we also changed this uh, gasket, this green one as you can see it's the uh, rear end of our transmission and now it should keep the oil inside so we, we took the whole uh, rear end off and put the new gasket and then the rear end back so it took about two two hours because it's it's quite tight here <laughs> but we managed to do it without taking the transmission off I will show you also the old gasket I, I wonder why why we use that <laughs> I don't know the old gasket is quite in quite bad condition and we use this liquid gasket also uh, but I, <laughs> I still don't understand why we use this one it didn't it didn't uh, hold the oil inside so it was a small mistake but now we fix it so it's okay the next thing with Saab is the rear brakes uh, as you can see it's spinning quite well but I show you there's no brake pads so that's the reason why it's rotating so <laughs> spinning so well uh, as you can see there's some some rust and i think at least one of those uh, brake pistons is stuck so i have to take these calibers both off and fix them so after after i have fixed the rear brakes there should be a time for a short test drive again I'm so happy what we achieved today. We work very hard with Heka. I think we are a great team. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down and some comments. It's important. Thank you very much. We already have almost 13,000 views on this channel, so it's a huge thing. Thank you. Thank you very much for you. Uh, it's a great fun to do this, this channel and these vid videos. Next video will come out, I think, on uh, on uh, Thursday, maybe. This is a little short week, so I don't actually know what I managed to 
manage to do, but I do my best. So that's all for this time. Uh, have a nice week and see you soon. Ta-da!